My name's Teresa. I'm 44 years old, and I'm addicted to eating rocks. Oh, well, here we go again. What's going on, guys? Infinite Liz here, back with another video. Now, today we are going to be looking at some of the strangest addictions ever. I've made some videos like this in the past, and you guys seem to like them. So drop a like if you guys want any more. We got a couple videos to look over. First off, I'm going to need everyone to click that first link in the description. Because you can get the softest merch in the game. Well, not this phone case, but with the shirts and hoodies. Yeah, they're soft. So click that link. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. Road to 10 mil. Let's frickin' do it. Subscribe with those notifications on. Enough talking, guys. Let's just get right into the video. My name's Teresa. I'm 44 years old, and I'm addicted to eating rocks. God, just the crunches make me uncomfortable. Addicted to eating rock. I've never seen this before. 44 years old. I wonder how long she's actually been doing this for. This lady has probably been eating rocks since she was like a little kid or something. I don't know how you get started on eating rocks. Like, ooh, this is a cute rock. Let me try it. Like, what? Teresa has been addicted to eating rocks for more than 20 years. She was initially attracted to the earthy smell. So she started eating rocks when she was like 24. More than 20 years. I'm 20. She's been eating rocks for my whole life. That's so weird. I said she's addicted to the earthy smell. I guess, you know, a smell would make sense. But, like, you're putting it in your mouth, so is it, like, an earthy taste as well? What does it taste like? Probably dirt. I don't know. I was just out walking one day. I had no attention of biting into it or chewing it, but I did, and once I did that, I was hooked on them. So she never stopped and just realized, oh, I should probably stop doing this because it's probably terrible for my teeth and I look like a psycho. So I should probably stop. It sounds to me like this is like a drug. Like she was like, and that's when I was hooked. I've only eaten rocks ever since. They're just so good. They just give me life. I wouldn't want it any other way. I couldn't live without rocks. Do you hear yourself? Oh God, it's just so weird. Now Teresa can't go more than a few hours without eating rocks. She's like watching a movie at the movie theater. Just pulls out a popcorn bag. Nope, that's not popcorn, it's rocks. People in the front row hear the crunching, they're like, what is this late? Are you chewing rocks? What? What? For more than a few hours, it's, it's literally an addiction. This has to be destroying her teeth. But how does she have teeth? She's been doing it for 20 years. How does she have teeth? That's the real question. When your body can't handle what you're putting inside of it, it's gonna rebel against you. Did you see what she was eating the rocks out of? It was like an old pill bottle. They're making it look like it's actually drugs. Like, can't live without these rocks. Why did she put them in a pill bottle? That just makes her look even more crazy. Does she bring this pill bottle everywhere she goes? If I saw a lady eating some crunchy object out of a pill bottle, I would be like, you are insane. This is about the size I like it because um, it's not as hard to swallow. I would normally take a piece like this and normally just put it in my mouth or bite on it. I just put the whole piece in my mouth and and get the earthy taste off of it. You just put the whole freaking rock in her mouth. I've always kind of wondered with these shows, like, does she want to be known as that lady who just eats rocks? Like, I would hate to be known as that. Oh, hey, I saw you on TV. You're that lady that eat, eats rocks. Yeah, that was kind of a weird episode. Like, I just feel like that would be so weird being known as that. Like, why did she want to be known as the lady that eats rocks? I don't know, dude. It's so weird. Two pounds of rocks a day. Day. Okay, so 730 pounds a year. So I'm wondering, like, if you're eating rocks, how does your stomach digest a rock and, like, break it up? And I'm confused. So if she's eating 730 pounds a year, how is she not, like, ultra big and, like, you know... Fat. I guess rocks don't have any fat in them. That would make sense. 730 pounds of rocks. <laughs> that's insane. Okay, well, that's the end of that episode. Let's go on to another strange addiction. Let's just press play. My name is Bria. I'm 19 years old. I'm addicted to eating sand. God, the crunch just gets me every time, man. Addicted to eating sand. So a little bit different, but like basically the same. All right, Bria, let's just, let's see how crazy you are. It's always good on top of food, like a seasoning or something. Taking a tortilla chip, dipped them in sand and ate them, and it gave the chip the best crunch that I've ever got in my entire life. I like how she has the sand in like a cute little red box and she just brings it everywhere. Oh, what's that uh, cute box you got there? Oh, it's my box of sand. Oh, is that like a souvenir from the beach or something? Oh no, I just like to eat sand. Oh, okay, okay, uh, bye. When I mix it with gum, it's just like mouth watering. 
Haven't you ever just had a piece of gum in your mouth on the beach and something you're just chilling and it accidentally falls out of your mouth, just gets all over the sand. And you're like, dang it, dude, I can't, I really wanted to keep eating that. Well, this girl will actually just continue eating it and think, oh, this is a lot better. Ugh, that's just so weird. Bria's addiction first developed five years ago when she accidentally got a mouthful of sand at the beach. She's like, <laughs> Oh, that's good. Spit it out. Sand can't be good for your teeth, all right? Before I go to bed, I put like a pinch in my mouth. When I wake up in the morning, there's still pieces like in my teeth. It's like leftovers. Hey, honey, do you want some leftover dinner? Uh, no, mom, I already have some from last night. What do you mean by that, honey? Oh, like I put some sand in my teeth last night and, and now it's it's leftovers. Do you hear yourself sound freaking crazy? Six times per day, okay. If you're doing anything six times a day, every day of your life, yeah, you, you probably 11,000 times since her addiction began. I like when they calculate things because it makes them seem a lot more crazy than they actually are and it's kind of great. When I'm craving sand, I lick my finger and then dip it inside of the sand and put it on the back of my teeth and just chew it. Freaking crunch, dude. The crunch gives me the chills. She just carries around a bowl of sand. Usually people carry around, you know, like a bowl of, you know, peanut or a bowl of just like any type of your favorite snack. With Bria, you get a bowl of sand. Yummy. Yummy! She turns to nail files when her sand supply runs low. It has like sandpaper on it that gives me the same crunch. So I put it like on the back of my teeth and just go like this. Oh no! I'm running low on sand! What am I gonna do? It's fine, Bri, I have a nail file for you. Thank God! Oh, I thought I was gonna die! What? Nail files? Like, oh God, this is getting weirder and weirder. My favorite sand is actually the sand from the playground or a park. It's not even clean sand. Like, she just finds it at the park, starts nibbling on it. What? It's this dirty. Playground? Like, kids probably like pee on sand. Probably, maybe, I don't know. The kids pee on the playground. There's a chance that that might have happened. So you might be eating pee sand and that's disgusting. I really hope she like takes it home and cleans it or something. I don't know. Cause like, I just feel like sand can get really dirty. But I don't know. Maybe that makes the crunch better. On to our next episode, guys. In the next episode, we got another lady who's addicted to eating something. So let's check it out. My name is Kaylin. I'm 18 years old and I'm addicted to eating plastic. I like how in every episode it's like super happy, it's like, yeah, cool little song, you know, and it's like, my name's Bertha and I'm addicted to eating plastic. I've eaten 12 remotes, over 5,000 beads, over a thousand cocktail swords, a hundred forks, about 10 water bottles, two pacifiers. What? Kaylin has eaten plastic every day for 11 years. Plastic is something I want and I feel like I need. If you say that about anything, you kind of sound crazy, right? Shoes is what I want and shoes are what I need. You just sound like a psycho, you, you do. 11 solid years of just eating plastic, like what? She has consumed over 150 pounds of plastic and even chooses it over food. How have they calculated that? What? Um, ooh, that looks good. I will take the plastic plate. So the burger and fries, right? Uh, no, no, just, just the plates, fine. I don't need the uh, burger and fries. Just, just leave that out. Just, just bring me the plate and that's it. The texture of a remote control is one of her favorites. I don't understand that because I was chewing on this and it is not, it is not fun. I did not have a good time. It's not that great. It really is. It's just like nothing special. All right. I'd rather have a burger and fries. Take a button off and then I'll kind of like put it on each side of my mouth and then I swallow it. And then she swallows it. Oh, God. So if you're ever missing a bunch of buttons off your remote, well, now you know it's Kaylin that's just coming in your house, eating all your remotes. You guys, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Such a weird video. But if you want any more videos like this, make sure to drop a like on the video. 20K likes. That would be dope. Click right here if you want to watch any more videos of strange addictions and stuff like that. I have some play. I have a playlist right there. You should probably click it. Also down there to subscribe to the channel. That would be dope. Uh, so yeah, basically I just wait here until you click one of those things or both of them or. You know, whatever you want, man. It's really up to you. Uh, yeah, okay, bye.